Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So this is going to be another one of those videos where I feel like, I, I felt like I needed to make another kind of shout out thank you video to you guys. Um, right now we sit at uh, 11, a little over 11k subs and we're getting further and further up the ladder uh, with every day, every waking moment. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a shout out thank you type video. Um, now there's only so many people I can shout out, but that in mind. But just because the only people I can shout out are those who are publicly subscribed, um, which is a limited handful of you. I believe the default on YouTube is actually that you're privately subbed rather than publicly. I think you have to set it up in a way where it's otherwise. So if I, I, if I do not um, shout out the channel, I apologize. I may not even be able to get through all the ones that I can look at because I do have quite the list at this point. I'm going to go through the more recent ones because prior to the, I think it was about a month ago, um, where I, I where where I actually last shouted out individuals, I'm actually pulling up. Um, just to make sure I know what I'm doing, over the course of the last ninety days is what I'm looking at, which should sum up. Um, the last time I did a shout out was a couple of months ago, I believe. Actually, exactly three months ago, I think. So ninety days is perfect. Um, unfortunately, a lot of individuals do have it on private, so there's only like a small pinch of you I can actually shout out. But I'm not just going to shout out like the subscriptions. I also do want to point out the um, comment section as well. Speaking of, um, we'll go ahead and start with the comment section since I'm leading into that anyway. So the com as far as comments go, I am actually very grateful for you guys. Um, I respond as much as I can. Maybe at a point I can do read your, I'll read your comments video if you guys so desire it. Uh, let us know in the comments below. If you'd like that, maybe I can stop responding through text and I can actually give more of a visual verbal response to them. Um, if we do that, go ahead and put some derpy comments. In fact, tell you what, if you guys want it, um, put uh, that you would like that and then put something stupid. Just say something ridiculous, something humorous. Uh, whether you want me to say like a dark voice or in some kind of manner, I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, it's kind of an idea that I do want to approach because it's very nostalgic and people used to do read your comment videos all the time on this platform. Maybe I could bring that back um, as kind of a nostalgia circumstance and that could be some one of our vlog things. It's an idea. And if you guys like the idea, yeah, put some kind of derpy comment in the comments below. <clears throat> um, I'll probably give, after, starting tomorrow, I'll probably give out, um, uh, like, the idea and some of the gaming content. That way we can, like, you know, it could be presented. We'll see. I don't know. We'll figure it out in the future. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and get into, the, like, the little shout-outs for the comments that we have had recently over the course of the past few months. Um, first of all, I, I once again do want to shout out Stomo Comedo Pro, who has been constantly supporting the channel over the course of the past few months. Uh, big thank you to them. Um, it, a, a lot of the support towards whether the vlogs or the gaming videos, a lot of it has been pushed, and it's com it's individuals like them where I'm like, I, I can't help but show a lot of gratitude towards that kind of thing because they're always there showcasing the appreciation towards the channel whether it's the vlogs uh, the gaming videos sometimes the serious videos like um the one from earlier this year that kind of just basically was a you're not alone kind of thing which i'm going to make a habit of constantly trying to make those because honestly even I need those kind of videos sometimes, and I look back on my content for stuff like that at times. Um, but I digress. Um, Stomo Comedo Pro, actually, he was the one who suggested uh, he, she, I'm sorry, I actually don't know. That's why I was saying they. Um, in fact, I'm going to continue saying that. So if I, it's, if I got that aspect wrong, I apologize. I'm, I don't want to be exactly inaccurate on that front. I don't want to offend, so... I'm going to keep saying they for the purpose of I'm not sure. Uh, but they, um, they're they the ones who actually recommended uh, Game Builder Garage to me. 
when I brought prior to me actually starting it and I did get around to it just like I will with any playthrough uh, for example um, Elden Ring is one that's been suggested to me once I finish the Dark Souls trilogy I'm actually planning on doing that one anyway then maybe I'll get around to Bloodborne and Sekiro if I can ever beat it on my personal time. But holy crap, those games compared to the others are broken as all heck. Anyway, I digress. Um, that strays from like the topic I'm trying to get to. Um, I we, we've actually been getting a lot of very supportive comments on this channel recently, and honestly, it is very much appreciated. Stomo Comedo Pro is one of several examples I can give. Another would actually be, be user Milf Slayer, who um, <clears throat> a little over a week ago started commenting um, in a supportive way. Uh, the first comment they presented was actually in episode three of Slender the Arrival, uh, entitled Slendy's Girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> I still remember thinking that. I'm like, who the heck is that? Um they commented that they actually gave some constructive criticism, which, which I do believe actually helped the channel um, as far as performance goes. Um, I actually took what they said in consideration and applied it pretty much immediately once I saw it. Unfortunately, that did mean it was going to be about a week before it showcased at all. But still, it is what it is, and it definitely helped out. That kind of constructive <laughs> criticism is always, always welcome. And then, then, ironically, on the very same day, they actually commented on my video, Pain for Happiness, um, which was me talking, for those who missed it, it was me talking about the fact that a lot of the time for me, I will put other people's happiness over my own pain and misery. And this is the comment they gave off. Uh, I did not respond to this one, so I'll go ahead and do that now. They said... Glad you came back safe. Now, if you want the context for this, I'd recommend going and watching the video yourself. Um, but there's not much to say about it. It's just that there was a lot going on. Let's put it that way. Um, make sure you are happy. Okay, continuing with what they said. Um, quote, make sure you are happy uh, with yourself before trying to make others happy. Your own mental health should matter first. Period. Now, in response to that, I guess for me, it's just been a force of habit. Um, and it, it, the weird thing is, the reason I do it is actually more due to the fact that <clears throat> when I do put other people's happiness before my misery, that misery actually starts to fade away over time. Sure, it can take some time sometimes, but as long as I'm a consistently being there for other and supporting other people's happiness, in turn, it's a psychological thing, I think, but it actually ends up making me happy and satisfying me. Sure, it doesn't bring me, like, the joy that getting married officially, permanently, and having kids, and having, like, a forever family kind of, duh. It's not that kind of joy, but it is permanent. It's a permanent enough happiness to where it can last until that point. At least for me. But that I, I couldn't help but appreciate that comment just because of how much care was obviously put into it. So that kind of thing is obvious. It, it's very appreciated. Um, not to mention, like, there are so many other comments here that have been going through over the course of the past month. Um, like episode two from Slender the Arrival, um, a comment that actually appreciated uh, the whole Slender thing because they hadn't seen content about it in a while. By the way, I, I'll get to this in a sec, but uh, comment uh, user um, Umbra Trickster 7774 for episode 2 of Slender the Arrival commented, have to say, I haven't seen any Slenderman content in many years that it actually took me by surprise to see this on my recommended. Great vid. First of all, thank you. I did um, say that in response as a comment. Oh, I, I, I said, welcome aboard the Nostalgia Train, and thank you for the compliment. Realistically, though, seriously, thank you. It, it, comments like that. It, it, uh, I guess one of the more uh, pointer-outers would be, like, 
I'm going to say this wrong, and I apologize, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Wangishalately. Wangishalately? I don't know. Maybe I'm saying that right. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> 1649. Uh, in one of my updates on vlogs, put an emphasis on keep going and then put, like, the celebration, like, um, I think it was, like, a popper um, emoji. I can never pick up on what this emoji was. It's celebration emoji, basically. Um, like comments like these, I can't help but smile when I see them. They're, they're those that, they're the kind of comments I can't help but appreciate. And even other than that, there are still some comments that ask for recommendations. Uh, like what I talked about Elden Ring recently. Uh, Scorpion, can't, Scorpion Kills 653 actually asked me to do that. Next game, Elden Ring. Don't worry, it's coming. Like I said, Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, once those are done, we'll get to that. Uh, but that also means i got to work on the DLC for those, which that part is going to be a pain, admittedly. Because I've always struggled with the DLC outside of Dark Souls 1. But admittedly, the reason for that is because I'm able to glitch Dark Souls 1 very easily to make the leveling a cinch. Whereas in 2 and 3, it's not so much the case. But I digress. That's aside from the topic that we're talking about here. So many comments here that I'm, I'm looking through. I can go through all of them forever. I just wanted to give the more recent examples over the course of the past couple of weeks it, with a little bit of variety rather than talking about the same one individual over and over again. Um, <clears throat> but I can't help but appreciate these kind of comments. Um, they keep me going in a sense where it's like, you know what? Seeing the kind of people who, like, seeing the community grow and seeing how many people are actually saying, hey, I want to see this, I want to see you do that, just the simple statement of that, or hey, this could be better in this way, why not work on that, or just like the keep going kind of comments, stuff like that, I can't help but smile at, and very, very much appreciate it. And a lot of the time, I do respond to stuff like that. Uh, there are some circumstances where I just don't know what to say because of how taken aback by it I am. Uh, like, once again, the whole keep going comment or the uh, comment on the Pain for Happiness video. Uh, comments like that, it's just I was so taken aback and so honestly appreciative of the statements that I just didn't know what to say. Um, so I guess, like... That's another thing that kind of emphasizes, I don't know, maybe you guys would like a read your comments kind of video. I would, if I started doing that, I probably would stop uh, responding through text and I'd select certain comments to respond to. Whether goofy or serious, it's up to you guys. Um, <clears throat> but I'd select certain ones and it, I don't know, it would bring back something from the past. And this is a nostalgic cha channel, is it not? So I don't know, maybe I'll get started on that. Um, it, under the idea that we do, why not go ahead and comment in the comment section below where say something ridiculous, goofy, stupid, or serious, maybe we'll respond to it. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeez. I'm still trying to get over a cough from being sick recently. Um, but yeah, as far as the comment section goes, that kind of covers up how I'm, like the hum humbleness and the gratitude that I have towards that. <clears throat> as far as like shouting out to the actual channels who are subbed recently, and I'm only going over the course of the past 90 days, bear that in mind. Um, because of that, um, I actually have the list right in front of me, and it is only seven individuals I can shout out. So if I don't shout you out and you subscribed recently, I apologize, but YouTube doesn't just have it as like public su subscription. So um, shout, for, so for the shoutouts I can do, um, we're going to shout out Gage Freighter, I apologize if I say that wrong, MJ Demon Warrior, awesome name, by the way, Dodger 303, that one I see the name, I'm like, wait a minute, I feel like I've seen that somewhere before, Clarissa... Hendershot, I, I don't know if that's your actual name or an alias, but if that's an actual name, I love that last name. <laughs> um, uh, 
Okay, I think this one's a, I think this one's a Spanish name. I'm not sure. I'm gonna say it like how I read it, and then I'll try to say it with like the kind of accent that I think it probably falls under. You let me know if I say this one right or wrong. Um, I'm more than willing to accept the fault if I if it's wrong both times or if it's right one of the times. Let me know. But the next one, um, okay, the first way I the way I generally read it would be German. Dominguez Rodriguez. But when I look at it and reread it, I guess when I re re reconsider, first of all, then first name I think would be Herman, Herman, like the, the G being silent or instead of J. And then I think the last one's kind of a mix of two names. Uh, Dominguez Rodriguez, something like that. If I, I don't know. If I, if I got that wrong both times, I apologize. But that particular channel, shout out to that one. Um, yeah, again, let me know if I've said it wrong. Um, Shino Aes. Wait, AEA? No, that is an S. Okay. I'm, I'm looking at a very, very minor image. Hold on. I'm going to pull it up. Okay, that's better. I can see things better now. Shino Aes and... Like from before, scorpion kills. I guarantee this. This this is um, this is just the course of the past ninety days. I think that's uh, I think that's accurate compared to what I used to do. I mean, let me let me check really quick. Um, actually, it looks like there are a few I missed from before. Uh, Laurie Ford, for example. Dan Dong. Ooh, I don't know how to pronounce that one. Nigia, Niguyen, Wu, Huang. Okay, this next one I actually don't know how to pronounce, but it's also um, a language I don't know how to read. Uh, Demo, De, Demonio, uh, Dark Lord Yanni. Ooh, I like that name. And actually, at that point, we're caught up. That was those. So the, what I just listed were the people who are publicly subscribed over the course of the year so far. Um, I, I honestly I can't help but be very grateful for you guys. For even if it doesn't seem like very much, you guys have done more for me than you may think. Um, it's more of a mental thing, but it's something I can't help but appreciate. Okay, I need to bring that back to where it was. Put it back over here. And well, you know what? Yeah, um, I guess the point of this shout out video and the reason I wanted to do it in the first place is just because I can't help but be grateful for you guys. No, even those of you who I didn't shout out, um, I guess the sole purpose of that is just because once again, it's either that you're privately subscribed, so I can't see it anyway, um, or it's just that probably been subbed for longer than in the past year in which case if you guys are sticking around and still watching my idiocy of the gaming stuff or the seriousness of the vlogs honestly i can't help but appreciate that um i, I i'm gonna get all wishy-washy if i go much further into this I, I i guess the finalized point i'm trying to make is i am really grateful for you guys all of you all eleven thousand uh, as as of this recording i'm just gonna say this because by the time this goes up it's gonna be a lot more but as of this recording 11k plus i don't know maybe by the time this goes up we'll be at 12k in which case all of you i am very very grateful for every last one of you um and you know what Every single one of you are the reason that I want to keep make sure that this nostalgia train keeps running and never runs out of fuel. Even if we have to, at some point, transfer over to either a different site, go over to Twitch maybe at some point, start using that as well, which we do have a Twitch account, but never use it because there's just never been reason um, yet. I'm sure we'll get to a point, but we also have a... Uh... <coughs> that was... Okay. That was like a cough through my nose. That hurt. Um, we also have a partnership that we may be starting up with a, a company, a brand new company very soon, which I'll get into that later. Um, 
It is uh, my friend Aaron's company. Uh, his and a couple of uh, friends and co uh, teammates of his um, that I am going to be supporting. Uh, I'll I'll probably work on some showcase videos and a, like scripted uh, circumstances to present this. It's a it just kind of has a sneak peek thing. Um, it is a business. Their company is a business a website builder or app builder type of company. Um, it's something that I, I'll be able to get in more detail um, with once uh, their website is actually finished and they're, they've scripted something for me to actually say for them because, once again, it's their business. I don't want to... I, I, I have no intent of slandering them anyway. Even if I said my, things off on my own whim, I'd still be very... Um, supportive. Uh, I would showcase all of the positives about it and all that. And I don't know. I did tell Aaron at a point that I may just showcase the website as well. I won't do it yet for the sole purpose that the website is still kind of under maintenance. Um, I ha I do keep a constant eye on it because he always asks for my opinion. In fact, it's like I use Firefox all the time and it's one of those websites that is instantly linked when you first open up Firefox. In fact, I'm looking at it right now, and it's getting there. It's they, 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 they you, you can kind of over, you, you can like look through it. There's still other aspects that they still have to fill in the blanks because there's still some like default statements. But I keep an eye on it just to give my own personal opinion and insight, just so they know, you know, how to approach it. And he's actually, I've done this for him for a while now, and. He's always taken this mindset into consideration, which is really nice. And it's a, actually, it's a really nice uh, business partnership kind of thing, which we will get to in a future date once that actually kickstarts. Um, I'm not going to go too much more into depth about it, but I, I, I feel like I've, I've been blessed. With all the hardships that have been going on recently, I can't help but feel very blessed with all the good that's coming towards me. Even with the hardships, there have been a lot of things that have kind of blanketed that and replaced it with something good. Something progressive. Um, which is really, really nice. And the, one of those things actually is you guys. That's that's another like reason why I wanted to make this video in the first place. A, a big gratitude type of video. Um, it, it, I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like there, there is going to come a time where uh, on, the, on this platform where we will progress for what the image I have as a creator for the platform is. Now, yes, part of it is definitely review retraction, which we will be getting started with very soon. I just want to make sure this move is taken care of before we start up on anything. Plus... The first one that we're going to be doing, Mega Man X, I actually do want to do some recon on it as well. Because, admittedly, never played it before. Yeah, I know. Blasphemy. For any gamer out there who's old school gaming like I am. Uh, yeah, that's, that probably sounds very blasphemic. Is that the word? Blasphemous. Blasphemic? <laughs> It probably sounds very blasphemous. Don't worry. I'll get around to it. I do plan on it. Um, but yeah, so definitely look forward to some review retraction live streams coming your way within the next month-ish at the latest. Uh, not to mention, um, we got a lot of Let's Plays in line, most of them suggested by some of you guys. And let me point out that a lot of the some that I'm talking about are people I actually know in person, in reality. Uh, like Aaron, for example. He's actually subbed to the channel. He's been supporting it for a while. Um, and he constantly... He, he's the... Re so, the Devil May Cry series, he's the one who uh, suggested me to do that, and I ended up enjoying it a lot. 100%ing it as well. Like, that was very enjoyable for me. Um, Mega Man. I, prior to him suggesting it, I had actually never played a Mega Man game. And then I started doing them, and I practiced them. I've done 1 through 11. I've done all of them but 9 and 10. Uh, 9 just because of how brutally difficult it is. But 10? 
I don't know. By that time, I was pretty much done. I had been doing it for months. But I digress. I've also got other people I could... I would list out, but I'm not going to just because... This will take forever if I don't. Uh, or if I do, I mean. Um, but yeah. A lot of the people who are subbed to my channel are connected to me in some way or the other, and I have gotten a lot of suggestions. Like, one last example that I'll give is D9. Um, this wasn't really a suggestion, but an idea presented. Just be through, through some kind of conversation that happened with one of, in one of D9's live streams where... Um, I ended up getting this idea to see how close I could come to beating his high score in Tetris. The NES version, mind you, not the Game Boy version. Because the Game Boy version, first of all, screen's smaller. There's not as much space to work with. The NES version, though, oh boy. That one would be fun to do. That one is another playthrough that you guys can expect in the future. But once again, it's just like a line of ideas that, honestly, these ideas would not exist if it wasn't for the kind of motivation you guys, as a community, have been giving me recently as a creator. Um, with all the support, all the comments, the sub numbers constantly going up, with some of them going down, admittedly, but that's fine. Um, I mean, not, this channel is not for everyone. But regardless, the amount of support it still gets is honestly, it's something. It's it's something that can't just be overseen. It's something that I can't just, I, I, I can't help but be very grateful for. So I, I guess in closing, thank you guys for that. I, I really do appreciate it. This is something that I can't just show an oversight for. It's something that I can't help but feel very grateful for. So thank you. Um, for the constant support, uh, for the support that had been given, the comments that go into the videos that are either recommendations, um, care-filled comments, uh, support-based comments, um, even some of the derpier ones, um, all, all of those kind of comments are very much appreciated. And the constant flow of them has brought me from a point where at the beginning of a couple months ago I was very down. Very, very, very down because of circumstance. That I'm not going to get into because at this point it's pretty much bypassed. Um, <clears throat> but my, my self-esteem went from like below the ground to above the atmosphere because of you guys. Or should I say thanks to you guys. So, once again, thank you. I... I don't think there's anything I could say that sh could show how much gratitude I have for you guys. Um, even I mean, I, I'm sure a lot, a lot of people who see this will probably go, "Well, we're just people. We're just being ourselves." You know, maybe that's enough. Sometimes, in reality, all you gotta do is be yourself to appeal to other people, or just to simply create a positive atmosphere. It's something that I've always strived for, and sometimes I fail at, admittedly. But with a community like what we have, it's kind of hard not to. <laughs> so, one last time, thank you guys so much for everything that you guys uh, do for me as a creator, for the channel as a whole, as we grow stronger and stronger as our train uh, gains more and more passengers. Thanks again, guys. And w with that being said, I'm going to close off this video. Um, I am looking, I really am looking forward to seeing where this, uh, our nostalgia train goes and what other kind of stops it picks up on over time. I am very much looking forward to it and looking forward to seeing where things go from here. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.